How do you go from this to this? Well, sit back and let me show you. Good morning, good afternoon, and good night. You're watching Just a Mom That Sims. I'm KT, and I'm here today for 90 Day Fiance Sims 4 Edition Cast Build. So if you like my content, you like to have a little fun and maybe a good story, please consider liking, subscribing, following, commenting, hit the notification bell, just do all the things. I'm going to get a disclaimer out of the way up front. I am feeling under the weather. I am not going to edit my voiceover, so I apologize up front for any sniffling, anything like that you're getting. And also, if my energy isn't at the level it should be, it's a cold, but it is dragging me. And so I'm hanging in. However, I I am here because I am prepping for season four of 90 Day Fiance. So if you've been around or if you're a new subscriber, as I get into the final two or three episodes of a 90 Day Fiance season, I like to go ahead and start building my Sims and their houses and their friends and family, anything I need for the setup. I'll go ahead and start building early and I post it to the channel. So you are seeing one half of the star of my 90 day fiance since four edition season four i am building marina sedna who is the first mermaid sim feature in this series so marina is a mermaid she is 26 years old but sit back because i have a story for you now we are living in a interesting sim world or marina is she is in a world where the sim government had gotten conclusive proof that occults exist now before this they had no idea they thought their sims came in different sizes and colors but they did not know that sims with magical powers existed they did not know that mermaid sims existed they didn't know about werewolves and vampires but i'm going to tell you they're not in my game but in the world of my imagination i know they exist so they exist the government found out about them now what did they do they decided that they needed to get a hold of a couple of each type of sim occult occult sim and they needed to run some tests on them do what some governments would do you know how that might go however that quickly spiraled and escalated out of control what ended up happening is they decided oh my gosh we needed to capture all of them now what they are doing we know about the experiments we know about the experiments but what they are doing past that we really do not know because all we saw is them being taken marina does not know she came from a loving family that's her background and her family is quite interesting because the mermaids have clans and her father was the king of their mermaid or mer people clan so she is a princess and when i get to her formal outfit you can see that i'm trying to go for a princess look like borderline disney but not too much so marina is beautiful but now she is alone in the world and she has been living this way for about two years now so since she was 24 years old now what she did is she's originally from sulani but she felt like she needed to keep moving so currently she lives in glimmerbrook now the sim government knows that glimmerbrook was full of spellcasters and magicians so why would marina move there well she thought it was smart they had swept that whole world all of the other cults kind of mix and mingle and live among other populations where the spellcasters have stayed pretty centralized of course there would be some in other worlds but the government found that out they went through and swept through and grabbed all of them so she figured that the best place to hide was in plain sight and that's what she did she went to a known world of a coast and moved in so she has been safe there for about a year and a half she lives in a tiny cabin which i will be building and you will see that bill posted now marina how did she end up as a 90 day fiance participant 
let's talk about it because it's interesting. She felt like it was getting close to time to find another place to stay. But the three known mermaid worlds are Sulani, where she's from. Tartosa has a mer people clan. And Tamarang has a Mer people clan. She had been to all those places with her father as he was king of their clan. She had met the people and the government knows that mermaids are predominantly in those areas. So she decided, I'm in Glimmerburg. I feel safe, but it's probably about time for me to start looking at other places to live. And so she didn't know about the other worlds. So she got on Lumpanoo's Meet and Mingle app to meet platonic friends, people that could tell her about other worlds where she could get in and have conversations and it seemed more natural and authentic and the people could give her information about places she could live because she didn't just want to pack up and go places that she knew nothing about because what if the sim government had a large presence there what if she would be easily discovered she has learned to mesh well with regular semanity <laughs> This is my play on humanity. But anyway, she learned to mesh well and she met someone she did not expect to meet anyone. That sim is older than her. She is 26. They are 37. However, she has fallen in love. She feels it in her heart. But the catch is they have never met in person. She does not know if she could trust this sim. And the way she has been living, it has been beneficial not to just readily trust people. That's how she's made it two years since the sim government takeover. Now, what she is wanting to do is meet this sim because it seems like they are living in a world that is pretty isolated and safe and she definitely has a strong friendship bond with the sim and so she feels like at least if they live close together even if it was nothing else going on that she could possibly feel safe for a little while longer she doesn't have a long-term plan because it's hard to make one in this new sim world atmosphere now, there has been some romantic feelings developing. The conversations went from platonic to flirty. She feels like her partner or potential partner feels the same way. So if we were in the 90-day universe, they would be in 90 day before the 90 days sim for addition. Get it? <laughs> so I'm down to her summer outfit and we are wrapping up this cast. Bill, so let me talk a little bit about her semiology. Let's talk about her traits because she is going to be a child of the ocean, even though she has not been near an ocean in years. She is also just a good sim, but her trait that could be a negative trait is that she's jaded and you will see her traits pop up as we near the end but she is jaded because she the trust she had in other sims has been broken because she saw people turn on people she saw people giving over to the government for uh rewards because there was a re reward system in place and i just think that the fact that she was even able to make some to meet someone that she would call a friend online and is even thinking about making a move to be with them is amazing. So I'm going to really enjoy diving into this unique sim world and the way it looks and a place where it is hard to be an occult to be something different and to see that there may be people that you can still trust because all sins are not the same right <laughs> so as I got through and you can see she's also family oriented again she was close to her family and friends as I pick out her ambition this is where we're going to end this episode. So I hope you're excited about season four the way I'm excited about it. And I want to remind you to stay tuned for our next season. And remember, keep simming, be happy, and always have a blessed day. Bye-bye.